everybody. <laughs> hey, folks. <laughs> 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 nah, 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 baby. This a blood house. <laughs> it's a crypt house. <laughs> Crazy. Everybody, come on in. Come on in. Da -da -dum -dum. Let's do some updates today. Da -da -dum -dum -dum. I give y'all some time to come on in because, oh Lord, it'd be so much. I'd just be like, oh my goodness. Grasp my pearls. There's so much going on right now. You know? And, you know, why, since it ain't a whole bunch of people on there right now, let me go ahead and say this for the playback. For all them people that was out there talking all that shit. Oh, Erica, Erica, you wrong. You shouldn't have been saying that about FTM Bay. You shouldn't have been saying that stuff. How do you feel now? You probably feel dumb, da dum 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 Dun, 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 dum, dun, dun, dun. Yes, y'all feel a little dumb right now for those who's out there really riding with her on this crazy stuff. This has not been a confusing um, debacle for me. None of this was ever confusing for me. All I did was take, make, I'm already a mom and I've already no children. We know our kids. So this whole thing was always bullshit to me from the beginning. Always. I never even for a moment believed her. And then when she had her, this is the, the I'm gonna get on into that later on. But I always knew the bitch was lying. If her son said that, she was right to believe him. And he didn't say, you know what I'm saying? That is true. But also, kids lie. That's a real thing. Kids lie all the time. What you in there doing that bad through? I wash my hands. No, you're not. You got stuff all on you, but the but to that extent, first of all, little kids don't know about stuff like that. The stuff that she was talking about. That was some X-rated shit. Say shouldn't. They shouldn't. No, they shouldn't. I'm reading y'all comments as they come in. Because I, I want to see. They want to see her sticking stuff up her butt. And how she genuinely, La Brittany Cooper, exactly, how she genuinely apologized and then went back on the damn IG and put her, put the three-year-old Alex, we kept on hearing Alex, Alex, she's a three-year-old. Now you got Alex on here. Now, this is, this is boring. This is abuse. Is this not, I feel bad for them kids because I worked in daycare, right? And some of them parents be super mean to their kids. Can you imagine if they wasn't saying the story right, the stuff we didn't hear? Shut up. Didn't I tell you? That, that ain't what I told you to say. You know what I'm saying? Weird shit like that. That's scary. It hurts my heart. At the end of the day, this is hurting my heart. Right. Man, that's the shit that be scary to me. Imagine what she doing off of the camera. I'm going to introduce a word to y'all today. I hope I'm the first person to introduce the word. This year, in 2022, we're going to see people suffering from what I like to call cloudism. Cloudism is somebody that will say and do anything for clout, for likes, for views, for money. Cloudism. The more you know. Dun, 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 dun. That's the new word for 2022. Because it's a lot of that going on. You got Tasha K over here in one hand. Ain't it funny? Isn't it ironic? That we see Tasha K and FTM Bay in the same damn boat. How much she like to shit on girls that look like her. You done found your slow ass in the same situation. A, a boat of lies. All you, j just for clout. All that shit you was talking about people, yo. And now, and especially girls that look like her. You know, Tasha K loved going at our light-skinned sister. She loved doing that. Want to take them down a notch. Like, girl. And now you found yourself in the same boat as a dirty, dusted thought. Mm, mm, mm. You're damn right, guys. Come on in here. Make sure y'all hitting that like button. Share the video, guys. Yeah, man. It's getting pretty hectic. It's getting kind of hectic, and it's so funny because I kept trying to tell my people, my tribe, that the times that we're living in right now, these people going to get their get back real quick. Trey Song's next. 
Trey Songz is coming next. He's not going to escape uh, 2022 without everybody knowing that you was R. Kelly protege. And what I want you to do, Trey, I want you to keep that shit going when I get locked up. Because I'm getting locked up. He ain't nothing but his little protege doing the same. He pro No, it's probably worse. It's probably worse. Because these girls was already uh, uh, nasty. So it's probably worse. So if they do something to them, he really had to be on some extra shit. Because these hoes are already freaky. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... But but still, you know, if they say something, nigga, you went too far. Now, I said all that, but I ain't say stuff no damn Coke bottle down my throat it, with a string on it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what the hell? I want to see you gag looking ass with a Coke bottle and you're going to do it. Because <laughs> I'm Trey Songz. He's not going to escape shit. But let's get back to the, to the measure at hand, the subject at hand. FTN Bay goes on, and I didn't even notice. It was people in the chat last night that was saying that, but I ain't see it till today, so I didn't know. But uh, I guess she went on there last night was like, you know what, Duty, he passed the test or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But um, like I said, I just was believing my son, and you know what I'm saying? And I still believe my son telling the truth, and all this old shit, like... All I wanted him to do was take the lie detector test. That's all I wanted him to do. Okay, but you wanted him to take the lie detector test on Steve Wilkos. That's not a real lie detector test. Everybody knows that. They're going to do whatever's in favor of whoever watching, the viewers. Girl, so the fact that he did go take a separate lie detector test and it said it wasn't true, now all of a sudden everything go out the window. Somebody did that shit to my son and I believed it. Ain't no, it wouldn't be a lie detector. It wouldn't be nothing that would keep me from your ass. If I went in that room on the first night, when you went to school or whatever it was you did, when I would have went in that room with my baby, mm, mm, what's wrong, baby? That's, that's real shit. Now, two or three months later, because the nigga ain't call you, I told y'all from the beginning that bitch was on some bullshit. Stop. Stop. You was more concerned about the phone call than you was your own child. And then what make it even worse is that today she puts the three-year-old little girl Alex on there who she kept saying her name just so freely through the whole thing. Man, I feel so sorry for them kids, man. It's crazy. Now you got Alex on there and she trying to keep up with your lies. The bitch is sick, man. She's sick. She need help. The people around her, if y'all see this video, get your niece, get your daughter some help. She need to go through therapy. She she needs something because she is traumatizing everyone. Or she is traumatizing the children around her. These kids ain't supposed to know nothing but damn Coco Melon and, and whatever little kid shit. Not about something sticking up somebody's ass. And then for your OnlyFans having ass, you go on OnlyFans and you got a whole diamond thing wedged up your ass. Who put that up there? You put that up there yourself. So if, if he seen anything going on, it was because of your ass. And you need to take some accountability for that. Get some therapy for that. Because something wrong with you. Something is really wrong with you. And for your sister to let you have her daughter being taped, this bitch, you gonna damn near end up in jail. Because this is like child exploitation, what you doing. You already done went on there once. And said he didn't do it. And you apologized to him. Because you wasn't trying to do all of that. Then on the other hand. You want to be like. Oh shit. I, she, she had a come to Jesus moment. She had a come to Jesus moment. Like I'm just going to just get it over with. And I'm going to just read the results. Then when everybody starts saying. Lying ass bitch. Fake ass bitch. You know I'm going to take. He going to sue you. And all this stuff. That's when her heart start beating off fast. Oh shit. Motherfucker, they gon' they gonna take away my pink car and stuff. And oh my god, I'm making my situation for my son worse. Yeah, she took a lot of tech to test herself. Well, I can't tell if she did or not. She took a picture because she suffers from cloudism. She took a picture in the lie detector test's supposed person's office. It looked like a probation officer's office, if you ask me. 
I ain't see no wires or nothing. She didn't show nothing with no wires. And they, you know, with, with all the videos that she loved to film of herself, wouldn't you think she would record herself taking a lie detector test in real time? Come on. See, people that suffer from cloudism, they ain't too bright. Because all they think, the, see the clout, they be cloudy. The clout bl blocks they, they fucking brain. And they be thinking it's not people out here that got common damn sense. Like, like us. You know what I'm saying? The cloud isn't blocks them. For all the stuff this woman like to record, wouldn't you record yourself taking a lie detector test? But in her cloud isn't mind, she says a picture says a thousand words. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. I can't. I cannot make this stuff up. These people have literally lost their mind. We have to think about back in the 90s, Back when it was free that the Pavarotti could show their natural ass. To the point they got Britney Spears bald-headed with an umbrella beating on K-Fed's window. It was so much stuff. And, and then you got the Inquirer. All these people were so-called journalists. Okay? And they presented themselves to the judge as journalists. Just like Tasha K. But in all actuality, you are some bitter bloggers that have a platform. Just like, you know wonder why we don't watch the Inquirer anymore? It's because they was just making up lies and shit. The same thing that some of these bloggers is doing. They took a page out of that. And if you look at the age range, it actually makes a lot of sense. It really does. Because they grew up in the time of Joan Rivers. Oh, bitch, you look horrible. Why did you look like a dead rug just laying on you? Oh, my God. You should shoot yourself. Kill yourself. That's how they used to be <laughs> talking. And that shit was okay. Y'all, whether y'all want to believe it or not, Cardi B is actually making history. She is truly making history, you guys. Right. That shit was crazy. She is literally making history right now with this case. Because for the first time in America, too bad it had to be a black woman. But hey, a black woman stabbed Martin Luther King in the chest. So am I surprised? No. But we are living in a time where for the first time a blogger and lies are going to be held accountable. That's a big thing in the entertainment industry. It's going to put, it don't put limitations on people like me and people out here that just doing what we do and commentating and going about our day. You know what I'm saying? Not sitting up here trying to call your mom and your daddy, find out lies about you and interview your old ex-friends. You know how many old, how much of our old ex-friends will say some bullshit and the bitch was so drunk that night she started sucking on people's toes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just and just say on oh, some weird shit, just to give to a blogger and tell them some shit like that. You know? Think about that. That's the first time in history you ever have seen that. None of them have ever been held accountable. You wonder why so many of our celebrities have killed themselves and stuff like that? Cause they had to deal with bloggers and shit like Tasha K, and they already have issues going on in their life. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, they still are real people. A million dollars or not, a billion dollars or not, these are still real people at the end of the day. So. <laughs> what? Oh, David Salisbury. Now, what's up? Yes, she do. She suffers from cloudism. Cloudism is running rampant right now. And I'm going to tell you what, for all those people to think they ain't going to get got, you are. And I got to kind of, probably not, it probably ain't going to happen to Kim Kardashian and them. But, because they, I don't know how far the cloud, they, they cloud them goes very far. How they trying to make my brother Kanye West look right now. Yeah, we know Kanye off. We don't need you to be telling us nothing. You the one had kids by him. But anyway, cloudism is running rampant right now. It is running rampant. And I'm here for it. I'm here for them showing their ass and getting caught. Because look, this whole situation had everybody in an uproar. For anybody to have children, this shit had everybody in an uproar. Like, oh my God, clutch my pearl. I can't believe somebody would do that. Then the more we start listening, now you on there again talking crazy. Thank you, David. King David. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we in the house. Y'all come on in, y'all. Press that like button. Press that like button. Share the video. But yeah, man. These, the, the cloudism has got them down. It got them down bad. 
Tasha K over here talking about she ready to uh, fire her attorneys, Olga. First of all, first of all, I'm not hiring you if, if your name is fucking Olga. What Olga in history has ever done anything great? Stupid. But I guess when you uh, repeat the ninth grade three times, you don't think about things like that. Nothing about Olga, nothing about her thing will let me know that she would represent me. But you're supposed to be so smart, right? You so smart. Girl, please. And I'm going to get the best attorneys. Did you? I ain't see why Martinez up there and nobody with you. We seen Olga. Now Olga got you down bad. You making history. Congratulations, Tasha. You did it. All the winos, put, a, put your wine glass up in the comments right now. <laughs> hey, the wine on tonight is getting rid of those wine glasses, getting real shots. Okay, they getting real shots tonight. <laughs> they taking shots of tequila because they 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 know their girl is done for, and it's gonna be more people suing her. Cause once she opened up them doors, no matter if the case was delayed or not, cause I think um, I gotta do a little bit more. But all I know is from what I learned today, she wanted to fire her attorneys. That's what I do know. She wanted to fire Ogle and them talking about she act like she don't know. What, you just roasting her? Everybody in my comments told me that you was just roasting the same lawyer that you hired. See, that's what I'm saying about not, not so bright. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying about not so bright. Like, come on, man. And then you're going to hire her and then get mad at her again because you losing. You weren't set up to win anyway. If Olga really cared about you, she would have said, let's just settle this out. And I'm being honest with you as a lawyer. Let's just settle it out. Take down the videos and let's just settle. That's it. She didn't want to do it. She didn't want to do it. So now, because of the cloudism, she has found herself in the same boat. Can y'all believe that? As wide mouth, brace face, FTM Bay. The reason why this bitch is so despicable... She's so despicable because I've never in, you know, since since cloud and cloudism has existed, have ever seen somebody use their child like that and use other people's children now. That is some sick stuff, man. Super sick. What's wrong with you, man? Got the little girl trying to recount a fucked up story and saying these things to her that she ain't supposed to know about and never cared about. You know what I'm saying? That's what's so weird. Now, all, after all of this, I was forced to do it. And then keep writing us these long-ass paragraphs. Ain't nobody about to be... Listen. And that go for some of these people that be in my comments, too. These long-ass paragraphs with your clout-ism having asses, stop it. Okay? I just want to put a long-ass paragraph so somebody can go back and look at my long-ass paragraph I said. If you don't shit, get your stupid ass off my page, man, with that dumb shit. But that's how that's what she's doing right now. Here go a long ass paragraph in a video. Show me the video of the lie detector test that you took. Because all I seen was a picture. You still want to go round and round. Cloudism, there's no end to it. There's no end to it. Portia, it's no end to it. It's no end to it. All these people, let me tell you, all these weirdos, Megan. It's no, it, 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 you know what, Megan, she, I don't know if she clout chases, but you do a lot of uh, questionable shit behind the scenes, my Aquarius sister. What the hell is going on with you with stuff? Okay? I don't know, but somebody told me, sources say, the streets is saying that she's an angry drunk, which makes a lot of sense. I've seen she had a lot of stuff go on with her and stuff like that, but I'm not here to talk about that. I'm talking about the cloudism of people. For all those weirdos who's doing weird shit in this cloudism era, uh, period that we have right now is getting exposed. And everybody looking at you sideways. Okay? Kenya Perkins in the house. Peace, peace. What up? What up? Oh, yeah. Little thing called cloudism. Cloudism will make you have your... Doing what that girl doing. Have my niece on there. Make my niece cry. After you done already made your son cry, man, if they ain't on her ass right now, and then you showing evidence to the world that you're doing, oh, you're openly child abusing these these children. That is some sad stuff for real. It hurt my heart. We don't know what she doing behind the scenes. Didn't I tell you? I told. Say, don't say it like that. I told you to say it like. Now press play. You know what I'm saying? Whew.
It's crazy. It is crazy. It'll take you far. Have your family out there. Exposing your own child. I ain't never seen shit get that far, but it's deep in 2022. And they be really thinking we that stupid. Like, but you know what? I ain't gonna lie. It do be some slow ones on there to be saying stuff like, he had to have forced you, girl. He had to. You know what I'm saying? I know the story didn't make no sense, but uh, you know what I'm saying? Somebody had to do something because ain't nobody just going to make up. This This what these weirdos be riding on. Ain't nobody just going to make up a story like that. I don't know. Somebody made up Three Little Bears. Somebody made up that. Princess and the Frog. You know those were all fake stories, right? People make up shit every day. So, yeah, people can make up these stories. What the heck? Are, what the hell do people be talking about with that? Ain't nobody gonna make up no story like that. What? <laughs> Where do you think movies come from, motherfucker? What the fuck? It's, what do you think books come from? Some of these... What the hell? People make up shit every day, bro. Don't be that slow. Just to believe these little gigabytes and sound bites that people be saying. They gotta be telling the truth, because wouldn't nobody say nothing like that? People say shit like that every day. People say stuff like that every single day. But Lord have mercy. This, this young lady, this young lady need to be in jail or somewhere away from people. That's where she need to be. Her son need to take from Her son need to be up out of there. He need to be able to live a peaceful life trying to find his way to Sesame Street. That's what he need to be doing. Not sitting around learning about what Angelingus is. <laughs> Shout out to Lee Attorney. You said that about 50 times. <laughs> <laughs> he don't need to be doing that. You know what I'm saying? He need to be being like a damn kid. <laughs> yeah, if y'all just catch me, come back and watch the replay. I know people just getting off work and stuff. But I want to watch movies later on. So I got to get this together. We got to talk about this. But yes, that's what her son should be doing. I bet you he would have a such more happier life away from you. Because with your cloudism, it has fucked you all the way up. And your sister, I don't know if that's your little sister or your big sister. I don't know if you recorded it without the sister knowing. But even that, you ain't even supposed to be able to record people without them knowing and putting stuff up, up, out to the public. Let alone a minor. Let alone a minor. What are you doing? The cloudism. <laughs> Take it, take it to the court. Right. You didn't even you didn't even record yourself taking the lie detector test, but you want us to believe that you while you recording your three year old niece and then so slow and dumb, you gonna put in the caption she's three years old. Man, if y'all go on that OnlyFans, she got a whole diamond stuck up her ass and then wondering where her son even if, like I said, even if her son did say something to her. It didn't have nothing to do with that nigga. It had something to do with her ass. You the one that got a diamond stuck in your ass. You think he ain't seen your phone? When you done left your phone open? Girl, you crazy. Your door open. Your door open? Your, you know what I'm saying? He in there peeking and shit. I told y'all. I'm glad my people was riding with me. Man. Because that shit is not worried. I don't, he done look... You and OnlyFans, give me the money, y'all. What I tell y'all? Give me the money. That's the only thing I can see. Like, kids don't make up stories. Like I said, even if he did, kids lie all the damn on time. A, a kid ain't gonna lie about sexual, that sexual. No, he ain't gonna unless lie about that. Unless he's seen her do it. Exactly. Or she made it up like she did. Yep. Because kids ain't gonna lie about that. And you, as a mom, the first thing I'm gonna do is check on my child if I left him at home with a stranger. That child don't know about that shit. Show the fuck down. Not, not in the way that she was describing it. And like I said, when she came on there describing it in that kind of way, that's another thing made my antennas go up. Why is you saying shit like that? Had to be bent over and all that. Well, don't nobody talk about that kid like that to the public. Is something like something horrific like that happened to my son? You think I'm gonna be on YouTube saying saying that kind of crazy stuff to people and give them that kind of description of my own child? You got me messed up. Right. But the cloudism right. blocks their brain. Right. They can't think. They think everybody here for the shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm in the more detail that I get, then that's what's gonna let them. She's probably in the mirror with her psycho self talking to herself. She is. You know it. And then when I say that, they're going to be like, they have to, they have to believe me. 
They have to believe me. I'm going to be like, he had to be, and I'm going to get so descriptive that they, they're going to believe me. Nobody believed you that had common damn sense. Not a real mama. And then she going to apologize and then renege on apology, understanding that it was over. Right. The cloud was going to be over after that. She couldn't get, she didn't want to leave it. She didn't want to leave it. So she had to be like, nah, I'm, nah, I'm Right. As soon as she started, as soon as them comments started rolling in, they was like, lying ass bitch. Uh -huh. I knew you was capping. You pee. You all this stuff. Said all this shit to her. She was like, no, this is not what I wanted. I wanted this to be a come to Jesus moment. I'm told the truth. And I'm glad David took the test. I'm glad he took the test. But now that he took the test, my cloudism is over. Uh, Alex, where you at, baby? <laughs> right. Come here. Uh, Come to Auntie. Yeah, keep your shit rolling. Come sit on my lap. Let me uh, let me let me coach this story into you again. Over with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Crazy bitch. For a moment, she seen all her cloudism get ready to float away. Mm -hmm. Cause she, for a moment, and that's what, and that's another thing I want to touch on. Yes. All these people yes. have a chance and have a moment where they have a come to Jesus moment, and they make a decision. Okay, they make a decision whether they want to go this way. Or that way. And depending on who you are and what we've been seeing, they are gonna still follow their narcissism and that cloudism that away. You know what I'm saying? Even when they have that moment, God give them a moment to say, I'm glad you did that. Look at you <laughs> growing up. Then you turn around and be like, Yeah, I still want likes and views. Um, everything I said was a lie. Uh uh, I didn't mean that. Come on, Alex, say something. Uh she said, uh he said, oh, right. he'll, um, run it. He'll run around it. And what else? And he will run around. And then he said, no. And I don't know. Well, I don't right. know. You know what I'm saying? She fucking three years old. What is you talking <laughs> What is you really talking about, bro? Do we, are we, uh, now how are we supposed to feel? What did you think that was going to accomplish? More clout. More clout. More clout. He got some more clout. And the cycle continues. He got some more clout. Be clout, more clout. Fuck the Because more clout. Bitch. Cloutism. It's flooding there. It's flooding. It's flooding the nation. It's flooding the nation. <laughs> but uh, that's pretty much it, y'all. I ain't have too much to come in today because, well, actually, I had a lot. Because <laughs> they gave me a lot of shit. But I'm going to do a, a real video, break down some things because it's so ironic that I heard that story about, uh, Martin Luther King yesterday. It was a lady in New York, Martin Luther King walking down the street, and the lady stabbed him in the heart. Well, first she said, are you Martin Luther King? He said, yes, I am. She <laughs> stabbed him in the heart. You know what I'm saying? And that story wasn't out there yes, because at the time, they needed black women to look under a different light because they were pushing the whole white women feminist movement at the time. And Lord knows we couldn't have crazy black women out here stabbing leaders you know what i'm saying so that's why you didn't hear that story like that but the story goes if martin luther king would have sneezed then he would have been up out of here it wouldn't have been no selma would have been no freedom riders it wouldn't have been none of that stuff it wouldn't have been no i have a dream and i say that to say it do again be our own people we have to hold these weirdos accountable we got to hold these weirdos accountable you know what i'm saying Nah, it wasn't no white woman. It was a black woman. It was a black woman. I'm going I'm to see if I can find a GOCC link. and um, I'm about to play it right now as you go up. Nah, I'm about to, I'm going to send, I'm going to put the link on there. Okay. I'm going to put the link at the bottom for y'all to see that story. Because I, I, I mean, I, I remember vaguely hearing that story back in the day. But when I heard it, like I said, when I heard it yesterday, it brought tears to my eyes. So I'm going to put the link in there so you can hear it from his own words telling the story because it was act, it was an actual speech. She made a whole speech out of that situation. And I'm saying that to say that it literally do be your own people. It be your own people and we have to we have to hold people accountable. Man. At the end of the day, we have to hold these people accountable. We can't have them out here doing the things that they doing. Not just them, but all these people that suffer from cloud cloudism that don't care about kids, that don't care about mothers, they don't care about nobody but they sell. So with that, y'all, I want to say, do unto others as you'll have them do unto you. I'm about to cultural appropriate this Chinese food right now and watch some good old, uh, some good 80s movies or something to make me feel like the good old days. Mm. I don't like 2022. Mm -mm. I don't like 2022. 
with these crazy people. There's too many weirdos. But peace out, y'all.